pink spot is covering the red that's available, but he has just pushed one into play. Yeah, the red that's closest to the cue ball. 50. And he can pot that, but he's into a blind pocket. is missable. And yep, going into a blind pocket. Marco Fu, 50. And never certain of... You've got the angle of the pot, but when you get down, you're so close, sometimes you think, well, it's a little bit thinner than I thought. And that's what he's done there. So Mark Selby gets an unexpected opportunity here. What can he do with this chance? Didn't make much with the last one. Thanks. Cue that lovely. One. The pressure's on now, though. No doubt. And didn't want to kiss into that red. He wanted to. Drift past the red. Six. This red is still on. Seven. Um, under normal circumstances, you were saying he's going to score 50 or 60 points from here. I'm not so sure this is anywhere near normal at the minute. Mark Selby's not made a 30 break for quite some time. that white to bounce. Well, you said it earlier. Well, 14. It, just the time is not there. And of course, when you keep leaving yourself in poor position, it puts pressure on the pot. But played it nicely. 15. And now he'd like to get rid of the red that's just the less of the black. That would make the black available into both corner pockets. And that last shot will please him more than anything because that was a pressure pot he played there. Now the reds he needs are that little cluster of five just around the 22. pink. We wouldn't have to bother with the red that's near the left hand side cushion. 23. that nicely 34 points Fifth. to lead just looking at whether there's value to play for the pink or the black here because it appears all these four reds are 31. in the way of one another at the moment that's why he's leaving and trying to leave an angle on the pink to bring red into play but he's shaking his head that tells me he's not got the desired angle on the pink he can't just hold the spot because the, that's what he's looking at now, whether he holds the spot with the cue ball. Of course, the white then gets snookered on the pink. Absolutely, because I can't see another spot available, so the pink will have to go as close to its own spot as it can if its own spot isn't available. Just want it to be the other side of straightish. So I need to come round and play for the red in the middle, and he's played that very well. Good shot. But it's hard work at the moment for Mark. This is where his competitive instinct will kick in. He knows this is a golden opportunity. OK, as Willie said, he would have lost the session five frames to three, but getting out at all square eight all. All to play for tomorrow. Thank you. 37. Just don't miss this chance. <laughs> 38. That's as good a shot as he played in this session, John. Yeah, just needs to play this with a little bit of side, though. Makes this black missable. Although he could play for the red, just the right of the pink. But he played it very tentatively, didn't he? 
Wasn't perfect on the black and needed to go one 45. way or the other. A little bit of left hand side, a little bit of right hand side. In the end, just made certain of the pot. Yeah, but it's decelerated, Johnny. Another foot is on the one to the right of the pink. Just not got any confidence at the minute. Absolutely, and that is the only thing you can think of. So he's not going to win the frame at this visit. Will he get Mark a Selby. better chance? 45. And what about that shot? I mean, just small. He couldn't let go of the cue there. It was almost a yip when playing that. Overhit that by six or seven inches. Worrying times. I'm sure with the being the last frame of the session, he's got straight in the practice room, maybe another hour and a half's practice, and then get up in the morning, have a bit more. He can get himself right going into tomorrow's final two sessions. This red does part to the far left corner. I'm not certain it's automatic, though, to screw back for the black, so he's running through for the blue. Reaches a nut. Perfect angle on the blue, so the only stumbling block, and Mark Selby will be pinning his hopes on it, is the red near the left hand side cushion. Well, that's a smell of uh, almost he's wondering what's happening. Well, I know what's happened. He's not taking his chances, and he's missed too many. Six. And you'll know that. And we did say when he got that opportunity, there was a lot of pressure on it. it wasn't normal circumstances. Mark can only hope the red on the left-hand side cushion is going to cause Marco for a problem, but he can play to move that out here, knowing Seven. that he's going to be on the run next to the pink if the kiss doesn't go exactly as he would like. This has got to be taken, this kiss on the red. Got the kiss on the red, played it firm. So he's not left himself the easiest shot. Looks at the scoreboard, 35 14. points behind, 43 remaining. Any bought colour will do off this tricky red. Good shot. This red is definitely available. Anywhere in that circle would be perfect. That'll do nicely. 19. Well, we've seen some frames stalled here, Willie. This would be another one that's gone against the head. He's just a little bit worried here that he might hit them both simultaneously, the red and the pink. Referee keeping a close eye. Oh, and he just tried to pinch a bit. Can you believe it? Another twist in the tail. Settle down, please. For a frame ball. Poor safety from Marco. <laughs> well, this is unbelievable what's happened in this frame. And at least Marco can see the funny side of it. And even Mark's smiling when he gets down to pop that red One. that puts him 31 points in front with 27 remaining. And that means that Marco Fu will not get back to the table. Well, Willie, I've seen some <laughs> sessions, but tits flying off, kicks, balls missed, 
Frames stolen. We've had everything. And Ten. what we've got at the finish is a match all square going into tomorrow. Absolutely, John. It's been a frustrating 30. session for Mark Selby. It'll be a pleasing session for Marco for in one sense. But he'll just make sure his tip's OK for tomorrow. It looks to be glued on nicely. 17. But the last ready miss there was unmissable. So uh, Marco Fu won that session 5-3. Mark said won the first session 5-3. We have parity. We're going into the second, third Pop. session tomorrow. And they're all square at 8-all.